Skin stockfish. Level four. Practicing for the over the board. So I will be taking my time. Obviously stockfish doesn't take the time, but I'll take my time. Let's have a look at what we can do. Okay, are we considering going on the king side castle in? And I did say I was gonna be just taking these pawns off if they're giving me a pawn. Just take it off the board. It's even Stevens then. If I start trying to balance stuff out, probably locking me down. So I'm gonna take the pawn. Not too concerned at the minute with these little centre pawns here. Let's say that we've established a kind of weakness on this file going towards the king somehow. Do we want to look at castling? Just get the bishop out. Nice and safe, yeah. Uh, let's do that. And let's just cast off, like we said. So now the pawns are pushing through the center. You know, again, for me, I'm just thinking we like to manage around the center, so we're not too concerned. We can blast through, I think opening up the white square bishop makes sense here. Because if they do take, then obviously we've got like two pieces on there. They've got the knight, or, which probably is going to happen more, so the pawn's going to push down. We do have space for the knight to jump here, or we would like to attack the bishop, but the queen is actually protecting this square. So it would be a case of potentially just bringing the knight back, which looks like we're jabbing ourselves in, but especially in over the board games, opponents do like to push their pawns through the center, get them elevated further down the board. So I think we will challenge this pawn, expecting this pawn to drop, just bring the knight back down. And obviously they've not developed any other pieces, so we're not going to lose too much sleep over that. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And they do push the pawn. There is another square that we can actually go to. Um, obviously we're not going here because of this. But we do have an outpost here, which could attack his knight if his knight takes, pawn takes. Not expecting that this pawn to be lasting too long. Maybe we can have support with the um, bishop coming here. So instead of going backwards, it might be better just going forward and attacking a piece. I think that makes sense to me. So attack the knight. doesn't actually catch him in my head now I'm thinking well that's a little bit arty isn't it because he had a simple capture but he's developing pieces I suppose in a way that's a positive for them because they've got three pieces out we've got one one and a subliminal bishop potentially coming out to attack uh, maybe not that one could attack the knight. Oh, could attack the knight and it stops the knight from actually moving. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Get this bishop off the back. Get this bishop off the back first. Don't want to over egg anything. 
because this bishop looks like it's kind of developed already so let's develop some more pieces x-raying through to the queen so they're actually attacking our knight twice now in a sense they're attacking our knight twice we could take his knight off the board his bishops then got this kind of position I think it's probably safer just actually just taking the knight off the board we went there to be proactive I don't want to get too arty let's just take okay so the capture back so we've kind of disrupted their pawn structure looking towards the end game so that's probably a, a minor plus for us in this situation we've disturbed their pawn structure so in essence now they've only really got one pawn instead of two pawns so i think they'll probably look to try and elevate it somehow so that then it becomes a stronger pawn structure so could we touch here need to get the knight off the back don't really want to block the pawn could come here with the knight or could attack again trying to split this pawn up from here again it probably isn't going to take because he'll want this one replicating in the center hmm let's just develop the knight like we did with the bishop just develop the pieces out I think then we'll be attacking this area. What's that? King move. King move, but not castling. Hey. Eh? Okay, so they're not castled, so the king is in the center. So we could continue with just attacking this pawn here now. That was the plan and idea. We've got these developed looking fairly okay let's attack the center see if we can split these up like i said i don't think he's going to take i think he wants this replicating what is that king doing give it up stockfish dude man i suppose it can happen but i <laughs> i think i'd be i don't think a human would do this type <laughs> they would not do that Oh dear, what are you doing, stockfish to me, man? Oh dear, I almost want to say, oh, I'm going to play level 5, but, you know, I've got to play with the level that I'm going to be playing against in the competition. Level 5 tends, for me, tends to really, it is more computer move-ish type thing. I really don't want to be playing against a computer move-ish type thing, because that's not really going to help my game. Uh, you might think, oh, well, that's because it beats you. I'm like going, yeah, but it beats you computer style. I, I'm not going to be playing computers. I'm playing humans. Humans make errors. And level six, again, that definitely is more computerized. And so there's no real point playing those. But when I'm seeing this type of movement here, damn. Okay, so the bishop's been is under attack. So if we continue attacking the pawn, then he's just going to take our bishop because our bishop doesn't have any protection on it. Could take the knight off the board, but is inviting the queen in towards our king area. I don't really think that's what we want to be doing. Could keep the x-ray on, but then I would just trap in our bishop a little bit more. Keep the x-ray through to the queen. Come back and support the pawn. Because this pawn doesn't have any protection on it really, does it? Don't know how he's gonna get to it, but uh keeping the x-ray or coming down. Decisions, decisions. Coming here makes me feel like my king is not home alone and then I can come here, then open up. Mm. 
okay I'm gonna drop it back here so now the Queen's moved so it's taken itself off of the um, x-ray so we could attack there Bishop Bishop takes and then open up the Rook we still do have attack on this pawn here I, I kind of don't want them to get this pawn leveled up but then do I lose out because I'm babysitting this pawn with both the bishop and the knight um, I'm going to bring the bishop here and attack the bishop the king's just doing some funky moves again do we push on just block it, locking down stuff don't really want to lock stuff down either really do we Thing. I'm going to just take his bishop off the board keep it simple don't want to overthink it mm hmm so if we did take then it's inviting his knight in to come if he takes with the pawn then the rook can come and put pressure on the queen could attack this pawn but then he just drops onto the knight aye, aye, aye. So it looks a little bit sticky for me, but um, Rook's facing the Queen. Seems to be a nice situation. So let's just bring this Rook facing the Queen. We like doing that. They've gone for a lazy man move. Ordinarily we look to just block the pawn off before it goes any further. go here stopping the night let's block the pawn let's stick with the mantra okay so the Queen's doing a little bit of a dance Queen's doing a little bit of a dance and so now we doesn't have the doubles but then if we take his knight can take mm. If we bring the queen here, we're attacking unprotected pawn. What does he do? He drops it. Maybe we take. Queen's not doing anything at the minute. It's still stuck on the back. He does have his knight and his bishop and his queen potentially hitting here. So if the knight moves somewhere then he's attacking the pawn we leave her up does have the bishop that attacks the rook ooh tasty and he's got that protecting and that protecting his king is on a dark square let's see if we can attack this this pawn it's got no protection on let's keep it simple bishop's got an x-ray through now to the queen so the pawn can drop this pawn now doesn't have any protection because it's protected by the queen again we could go for the block uh, let's drop the queen here attacking the pawn it's come for another scud missile attack Bishop's in front of the Queen, so if the Queen ended up here, Bishop uh, take anything? No. What seems wrong with that? I think the Queen can take this pawn. always wary when the bishops are in front of the queen but he's not got a check on my king he's not 
got to check anywhere else. So I think we can take this poem. He's looking for a discovered check on my queen. So maybe mobilize the queen or what can a knight take? He can't take anything in return. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Could take the pawn, could push up. What are my other pieces doing? Again, could attack there, but he's just going to drop, so let's forget that one. Let's move it out of the way. if we move it does that mean his knight can attack us somehow attacks us maybe the bishop takes ooh then he's got his bishop and we're so close in front of his king I'm going to move the queen out of the x-ray of the rook so the rook's doing a bit of a dance itself so the queen and the rook are doing dances I feel happier being able to take here now I suppose he can take with his knight, take with the pawn, whichever. But it's going to open up our rook on this file. Yeah, so it's got a nice power base. Could look to double up or come and attack the pawn here. Could even come here. The queen could go there attacking the queen. Do I lose a bit of tempi doing that? There's a bit of tempe he takes and then the rook takes then his rook comes and attacks then we go here that feels more drawish doesn't it we're trying to stay away from the draw things so maybe not that time for this because then if he does push then we take Yeah. Time for this. I think we have time for this. Let's just push here onto this pawn. Try to make some space. And it does push, so we can probably just grab that pawn now. We can grab it or move the knight out of the way. What's the issue? What's the issue? Da, 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 da. Rook comes here. Then we have to babysit the bishop. Is there anything different? Uh -huh. Let's take the pawn. Let's see what they do. Okay, they do come with the rook. So we have to babysit the bishop, or do we have to? Let me see, is there anything else at all? We can come here or go here. With sights of this. Get the knight moving. Let's just bring it here. Oh, the king's dancing now. The king is dancing. Knight's uh, doing a good job protecting all of this stuff. Where do we want to go? Rook. Owning the file, maybe? Rook owning the file, it seems pretty straightforward. Just owning the file, let's do this. Basic chess, so let's support.
this little scud is doing a grand job but the knight is currently protecting here Do, do, do. Continue with the doubling. I think we continue with the doubling. Basic chess. The rook is by itself at the moment. So there's nothing major going on. Um, da, da, da. What do we have? Anything else to disturb? Could bring the rook here, attacking the pawn, but then I suppose you just take something. That's a bit too, um, a bit too soft. Kind of jammed down, really. I mean, this is probably why they're just dancing in the back because everything's kind of locked off. And maybe I have to do something a little bit energized. Queen up. Is there anything there? go queen up obviously we will lose the bishop so we need to move the bishop first let's move it to an active kind of square oh dear me I keep forgetting I'm playing stop fish that's why it's moving fast so now we've got sites of here Can we get the queen up to look a bit lively somehow? I'm going to bring the queen up to the position that we were looking for. That's a deep move. That is a deep move. So now bringing the queen across. Bringing the queen across or attacking their queen. But my king is home alone if I do that and then if he goes here what have we gained bishop could sit in here or the queen could sit in there and then go here interesting situation but it does escape doesn't it if we go there, there and we'll give him the pawn because the rook is on the pawn hmm the knight is covering this key square so there's no real point in doing that so he's come down attacking our pawn Maybe we could defend, but then that's not going to last too long, is it? Mm hmm. What if we come here, defending the pawn? But then we're in front of the rook, so that we don't want that. There must be something better. This pawn is going to drop. You know, I'm going to keep it simple because there's nothing there because of that knight being there. We can't get into here. So it's good to talk. Let's just bring the queen back, protecting the pawn. Oh, nice touch. Nice touch. Okay, so the knights come down, the pawn can take, but we lose the queen. So let's go back here. So now they're over. Oh, now they're overextending and they're losing a minor piece uh, because of that. So we're going to take here. good shot good job we've got that pawn there isn't it so now it's gone absolutely crazy is now 
kind of working his pieces together it's just that he has lost a minor piece but I think he's lost it for two pawns that's really quite clever isn't it am I getting trapped with his rook somehow I'm going to bring the queen up so he's given us a pawn I'm really trying to squish that oh and that's a nice position the knight is no longer there Ooh. so he's given us two pawns so we could take with a check and then come across and take with a check but obviously we can't take the rook because the bishop's protecting so I'm going to put a check on the king with this capture bishop blocks it off and we could take the queen or oh the thing is if we go and take this pawn I'm just about to shoot and get this pawn then his queen actually takes our lovely bishop which was going to be the supporter for attacking here So we do have an extra minor piece on the board, so we don't need to be greedy. So I think we can just take the queen off the board. I don't think I need to be fancy. Queen takes, queen takes the bishop. If the queen takes the bishop though, then we just take his rook off the board here, won't we? With a check. it doesn't have to take the bishop it can do other movements my king could get checked oh yeah my king could get checked and then I'm chasing my tail and then he goes bang Ooh. well no he can't go there because bam take check on the king If I go here, my queen is here. Could he sacrifice that? Is it supported by something? Oh, it's supported by the queen, so I'd lose my queen. Oof. Oh no, we don't like them apples. Let's take this queen off the board. Let's live with the fact that we've got a minor piece up. This is hopefully the type of thought process I'm going to go through. This pawn is under threat. Could bring the knight across defending. then we lose the bishop because the rook is on there so oh dear me this is a bit tense <sighs> so okay a piece for a piece type situation so if we attack his bishop his bishop doesn't have any protection on if the rook takes the knight then we take his bishop with a check on his king and then we win the rook here so he's not going to be taking the knight I don't think probably just take the pawn here is there anything better? No, because we're under attack, so we need to move the bishop. Capture straight away. Interesting times. The knight's under threat. Really looking at defending the pawn here, but uh, it kind of equalizes it for them because the bishop then gets saved. So let's bring the knight and attack. 
trying to maintain the advantage and the rook's coming through now just <sighs> is there a fork no I need to keep my or maybe just take this pawn off the board take the pawn or push because it's like a passed pawn isn't it no, let's just lessen the amount of stuff he can get promoted. Past pawns want to be pushed, let's just push and see what damage he's looking at causing. If we went up, then his rook goes up. If we went up, to help that up it's defending if we went here then he takes the pawn if we went here then he x-rays through to our rook but we do have support he's taken the pawn what's the situation there could look to trade down put a check on the king push up On the night, is there a fork of anything? Oh, that would have been nice. Check on the king. Check on his rook. If the rook takes, we take his rook. If the rook takes, knight takes. Oh no, hold on, hold on. He'll just take the pawn, won't he? All that hard work would have gone to waste. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's attack the rook. Let's attack his rook now. Okay, so if we take this rook, this rook takes. Then we bring the knight here. So it's not going to go into the corner. Okay, let's give that a try. Let's go here. And then queen. take just keep our rook there now and just push this pawn up Very interesting game indeed. Mm hmm. Okay, right. Just a quick shifty there. Right? Yeah, I mean, it did some kind of strange moves. But again, it just feels like it is playing more more like a human <coughs> I'll show you what I mean I'll go back into level 5 I mean we have played level 5 we've played all of the levels you know all the way up to level 8 and we haven't fared too badly but in terms of practicing for a particular competition I don't think there's any point in training at the higher end on the, with the computer because uh, I'm using totally different brain pattern type stuff um, to actually try and gain any time, type of advantage in those kinds of games whereas when I'm playing over the board against the people I'll be playing against uh, no slant on their skills they definitely won't be playing that that level 
so to me what is the point in that because i'll be doing massive overthinking on simple positions and then i'll make a move that i think well that's blocking that off and they have no real intentions of even thinking at that level <coughs> at that level and they do a simple move and then it, it knocks all the calculation out of the window so i'm working to the level that i know i'm going to be playing against and i think that will help i can only base it on previous experience because my previous experience of studying at high level high level you know training at high level you know trying to beat the high level computers and stuff it's so wearing because then you come and actually play it over the board everything has just been done so simply and straightforward and it's hard to get back into that rhythm you train the you, you you'll play the way that you train and if i'm looking and searching for things and overestimating what the potential opponent can do that can really mess your game up so this is why i'm training at this level so that we get that understanding in there some people go no you gotta train to the highest level all the time i'm like going yeah that might work for you but it definitely doesn't work for me when you're overthinking over calculating and then the opponent doesn't even work to that level at all and then you've lost the game because you've over calculated when you could have simply gained advantage in the game right from the very beginning that's my take on things that's my training program that's my training psychology and in this particular game here um, lots of little gifts that were given to us but positionally we had to find those positions because it wasn't just giving it away for free and uh, we had to still work with our pieces or else i think they would have taken advantage of us but we'll play a level five just to um show what i mean and i don't really want to touch on level six because that's just like proper proper computer computer but level five really just kind of pushes you and i don't think I, if i'm playing somebody of that level at level five then i think i'm going to be a bit stuck <laughs> i'll shake my hand and just leave the board